Hello everybody and welcome to Vitalik's videos. In this one we will be discussing what a professional window cleaning toolkit looks like. Let's get to it! Number one is this waist belt with four loops. I also always keep a leather holster on for my razor blade. Number three is a mop bucket or bucket on a belt, whatever you would like to call it. I like to have one largest section for my mop and three smaller sections for squeegees. Next is a side pouch I like to hang on the left side of my waist belt. It has different pockets and sections which I like and it holds all of my smaller tools like the 15 in one and the brush that I use for tracks and the spray bottle. It's seen better days. I'm probably going to have to get a new one soon. Number five. The six inch razor blade is going to help you scrape off all of the paint spray that doesn't come off with an abrasive. Speaking of abrasive, I always have a few of these used walnut pads sitting in my pouch. I use them for detail work and scrubbing frames. Another common item is this track brush, which is used to clean out window tracks. This next tool is used quite a bit for taking out window screens and scraping dirt that just stuck to a frame. You're gonna go through a lot of these surgical rags, so it's important to have a lot on hand. I like to have seven, five in my pouch, and two that I'm actively using. This was an addition to my toolkit a few years ago. It's just a simple, valuable spray bottle. I use it to spray windows and tracks. It's a great item to have in your toolkit. A counter brush like this will help you take off cobwebs so you don't have to do that with your hands. Another item that will help you save time and energy is a scrub pad right here. The abrasive is made of walnut and it doesn't scratch the glass. This item is called a T-bar or a mop and there are lots of different types of sleeves you can get for it. The one I have on is called a porcupine glove and it just helps with breaking down dirt that's stuck on the window. In this line of work, you're not going to get very far unless you have a few squeegees. I like to carry two around, one that's a swivel squeegee that allows me to change the degree of the handle. The other is a six inch squeegee for smaller windows. This item is a necessity if you do any type of residential work. You don't want to always have to use your rags to wipe down dirt, so use this vacuum first and then use your rags. This is the only item I keep in my bucket. I don't carry it on me. I use it to dab a little bit on both sides of the mop and then I wash the windows and it works great. Last is a six gallon bucket that I use to store all of my tools in. I fill water into it and carry it around with me when I wash windows. Let me show you now how everything looks when you put it on. Everyone will have their own way of doing things, but the idea is to have the least amount of items you will need that will sufficiently get the job done. You don't want to be falling to your knees at the end of the day from the weight you've been carrying but you also want to be as efficient as you can be and do an outstanding job for your clients so that they call back. Let me know if you do anything differently or if you have any thoughts. Please share in the comments below. For now, watch till the end to see how it all looks put together. That does it for this video. I hope I will see you in the next one.